So our next story has been suggested by Eamon, who's not here. He's in Lanzarote. Um, but here he is talking about it. Hello from Lanzarote again. Uh, one thing I found in the news this week, which was quite interesting, was um, Placebo's current tour, which they which they said they wanted all fans to not use their phones or mobiles, which I'm all for, but I don't know how you guys feel about it. That's the end of a cheesy link. And now I'm going to just go back to me drink. See you in a bit. Eamon there holding a glass of champagne. Uh, <laughs> what a twat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cunt. Do you know what? Just, Why just showing off. Uh, Just showing up he's here. metal as fuck, isn't he? He's metal as fuck. Look at him. Glass of champagne. Yeah. Um, so, he, yeah. He's, yeah. What, a, what a poser. Yeah, man. What so a he fucking wants, poser. So he... <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to talk about Placebo, who... Uh, um, I don't, Rich, I don't know how you feel about Placebo. Are you a fan oh, at I all? love Placebo. Yes, I, I think they're great. Um yeah, so uh, they uh, they don't want people to use their phones at gigs, um, which you know it is. It's understandable. Um, I don't think it's very realistic. Um, it's certainly becoming more of a thing now, isn't it? There seems to be more and more yeah. acts who are trying to trying to get venues to enforce this for them. Um, I mean. <sighs> What are you going to do, though? You know, if, I, if I'm there in the middle of the... If I'm there right at the front, in the middle, uh, with, a, with my phone up, taking a 60-second a video, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You're going to take my phone off me? Um, unless you hand your phone in, which I can't see people doing that. They have done on some gigs. Uh, I can't remember if it was, whether it was music or, or comedy or something, but I know there was some kind of artist who did this on a tour where they made everybody either not bring any kind of mobile devices or have them locked away in a cloakroom. Um, and I, for, for me, I, I get it. I understand you should be there living in the moment and enjoying the art that these artists are putting on. Uh, but at the same time, as, as you just said about taking a 60 second video or taking a couple of pictures, that that's not, that's not what this is about. I don't think it's for people who literally watch the entire gig through the mobile phone. And it, there's <laughs> yeah. nothing more annoying than seeing just a sea of mobile phone screens in front of you. And that, that, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I, I don't see, I see less and less of that now. I, I don't see there's some, you know, when I was a steward and I used to work at the arena in Manchester and, and various other places, you would see at certain kinds of gigs, there'd be a certain kind of punter, who would watch their phone, who'd watch the gig through even an iPad screen, which always baffled me. Um, and yeah, um, but they, I haven't ever seen that at a rock gig, personally. I mean, maybe people do it, watch the whole thing through their phones and, and take an hour's video or something. It's not something I've seen. Um, but if I come to a gig, I'm taking my phone because I don't carry cash. I pay for things with my phone so that I don't have to carry cash. I don't have to carry cards. My tickets are even in my phone. So um, I haven't really got a choice. I mean, I could do – I mean, I've got a fancy watch that I can put tickets on. And that, that, but I don't want my phone, though, really. That, that's a very good point. So, you know, we um, – promoters encouraging mobile ticketing and promoting contactless transactions – but you don't want them. You don't want people to get the phones out or have them with them. It, it it's kind of, kind of goes back on what they're trying to say, doesn't it? Kind of contradicts it. Yeah. Um, Lee, do you take your phone to gigs? Yeah, I don't see. I'm torn between this because I totally get where the artists are coming from in saying that we need to try and be more in the moment, Bless enjoy you. it more. <laughs> someone else sneezing yeah. again <laughs> Bless her. go on anyway um I, I i get what artists are trying to say when living in the moment and not uh, but yeah. at the same well, time 
I take my phone to gigs and festivals and take a few few videos of 60 seconds to 30 seconds worth of footage as a memory for me. Um, because a lot of the time, downloads are examples, you're off cut half the time. So you, don't, you might not yeah. remember anything. So having that video is, is a good way to be able to remember it or at least trigger something in the back of your brain thinking, ah, awesome. I get, I get what they're saying, but at the same time, no, I don't agree with saying to people, don't, don't use your phones because it, 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 you can, it's a keepsake. And I, and I think that's, and I yeah. think that's really, and I think that's really important because it's, you're not always going to remember stuff like that. I mean, what well, I've, I've got, um, when I, I saw corn in 2002, when I was 12. And I have a vague memory of it, but yeah. I reckon I probably remember it a lot better if, when phones back then actually had the capabilities. I think I probably remember it a lot more if I actually had a little bit of footage to trigger that part of my brain. Um, speaking of Corn, again, I'm lucky enough that Corn actually recorded their 2014 gig at Brixton and put it onto YouTube for everyone to see. So I'm, I'm lucky in that regard. But yeah, for, for other gigs and stuff, I take my phone to record just because. I'm not going to sit down and record the whole thing. That's just ridiculous. You want highlights. You want little memories or tidbits. Yeah. In this, it's um, a social media post, actually. It was on Twitter. Dear Placebo fans, we would like to kindly ask you not, in capital letters, to spend the concert filming or taking photos with your mobile phones. So they've even got a problem with people taking photos, which I just think is just crazy. I mean, come on. I mean, I think if they'd said something like, you know, we would respectfully ask that you don't stand there watching the gig through your phone or, you know, whatever, something to those that effects that what we've been talking about. But to stop people <laughs> taking a 30-second, one-minute video or even taking a photo of a gig that they're at, I think that's just... I don't agree with that, man. I, I think that's really awful, actually. It is bad. Um, and I, I've, I just found the, uh, one of the, one of the articles I was thinking of, and you have to excuse the, the, the source of it as it is, uh, the Daily Mail. Um, and I, oh, and I, yeah. And I don't, oh, I don't want to promote that at all in yeah. any way, but it was Bob Dylan, um, who, who, who banned people using smartphones. Oh, yes. And he yep. wanted them put into security pouches. And if I just scroll down for you, you can see the actual security pouches that were used. And this was actually locked with a magnetic lock and had to be unlocked at the end of the gig on the way out. So it isn't just a case of you can't use them, you know, keep them in your pocket. This was you have to lock them away. And the yeah. only way you're getting them back is at the end when you leave. I think it's really cunty. I'm not putting my phone in that little thing. My phone cost me a lot of money, and I'm keeping it on me. Or I'm not going to the gig. It's as simple as that, I'm afraid. I mean, if my favourite bands, uh, Royal Blood, for example, said that about, you know, you can't, you can't come to one of our gigs with your phone, or we're going to put it in one of these little shitty bags, I'm not going. That's fair. People have got to stand up for that then, but it's, I do get... Oh, get I it. get it. I totally but... get it. Mm. Yeah, so, um, I mean, we love Placebo. Not crazy about this announcement. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, you'll see them at download and they can't fucking do anything about your phone then, can they? Mm. 